Seriously Red is the newest film that is out on the big screen for you guys to go and check out. This is a film from my home country, Australia. And this movie is all about a young woman who finds her career, who finds her purpose in being Dolly. Acting like Dolly, impersonating her, and she goes on this wild adventure is Dolly. And then things start to take a turn, and she realizes certain things and everything like that, blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. So I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on this one. So smash it down yours in the comment section now. Let's get a discussion going. Smash that like button for me and click subscribe as well. And let's get into this review of Seriously Red right now. Thank you very much, Dolly. Thank you very much about that. Thank you very much, Dolly Parton here. Thank you very much. Has he left the building yet? Okay, so Seriously Red, like... The movie about someone impersonating Dolly. Well, they're not like that. So they're not like creepily impersonating Dolly. They, they do it as a job. You know how people hire those people to impersonate someone at a party or something like that. Perform like them because they look alike them. That's what this movie's about. So she goes and does that. That's the whole premise of this movie. Now, this movie is probably not for me. Made for me. It's made for probably for a select audience. And if you guys are that audience, then you're probably going to like this film a lot. For me, it just didn't work. It didn't work. I felt like it was very messy. There were scenes that were kind of like all over the place. And I was kind of like, okay, that doesn't really mesh well with what you're trying to tell here. It felt a bit rushed in certain scenes where you're kind of like skipping over things. Like we're moving to the next bit. Okay, so we're just skipping ahead here. We're missing all this big chunk. And... Things like that. I'm like, okay, I get that. The characters themselves, I just did not care for. I think most of the characters are very unlikable. The only one character is her best friend. He is the only one that you care for that you're actually like, okay, I feel sympathy for you. I feel where you're coming from and I'm on your side. The mother, she's an absolute bitch. Do not give a shit about her. The actual person that we are supposed to be following, she's just an absolute bitch as well and I don't care for her. The rest of them, I just did not care for any of these characters. So, initially, when I'm watching this, I don't really have any connection with any character. So, I'm not really fully invested in the story. I'm not fully invested what they're trying to do. Doesn't work for me. So, that's a negative for me. Now, as for the actual story itself, look, I must, I, I'm, I'm going to give it some credit here. The actual message that they're trying to tell with this story was actually quite good it's very deep and it actually is something that most people can take out in the real world and use it like the whole idea of the actual character arc that our character main character goes on i do like that arc i just didn't like the character but the arc was great itself where she loses herself in being dolly so she starts to become dolly outside of work because she starts to fall in love with this other guy that's impersonating. And they actually live a life being these people. Like not being themselves. Being these people. They're actually Dolly and Kenny. Like they're actually doing that. So I like this idea and this message of like losing yourself as being when you're acting like something that you're not. So you're not who you are. You're acting like someone else. And you're losing yourself in that. You're losing who you really are. And you start to become them. And you take, I mean, in a blink of an eye, you've realized that you've wasted all this life trying to live like someone else rather than live who you are. And that's what the friend tries to get across to her is this whole idea of like, you're crazy. Like you, you are being Dolly. Who's going to be you? And I like that message. I understand that message. And it's really, really good. And it's very powerful because the amount of times people look in the real world and go, I wish I was that person. Like, I'm going to act like this person. Like, I'm going to act like this on the internet. Like, just be yourself. Be who you are. That's all what anyone ever wants is you to be true to yourself. Be you. Be the first you. Be the original you. Don't need to be anyone else. And I like that idea. I like how her boss tells her that like basically hint is like look you don't need to be this person like i and he even admits it in there that it wrecked his relationship stuff like that he realized that that being this person he got so caught up in it that he actually believed he was that person and i like this message i really do i think the underlining message of this film is quite good 
and it really could resonate with a lot of people who are going through identity issues, trying to figure out who they are in this world. We all know that it's tough to get by and try to understand who you are at your core. And I think the message of this movie translates really well to those people. I mean, we've all gone through identity issues where we're trying to figure out who we are, what are we meant to do, what is our purpose in life? Like, there's a big question. What is the purpose of our life? Like, where do we find purpose? And she found purpose in being Dolly. But then she realized that it overtook her life and she became Dolly. She became this other person and not herself. So that is really, really good. Really like that. The acting is iffy in certain places. I was kind of like, okay, I guess. Um, I'm not fully sold on it, but, you know, it is what it is. Some of the shots were really good. I liked the cinematography. I thought it was great. Uh, the costume designs are really, really good. I must say the costume designs are really cool. That worked for me as well. There's a lot of stuff in this movie that probably isn't going to work for certain people as well. I mean, there's going to be like anti-woke and woke people just going at it. I can just see it. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here just to talk about the movie itself. So whether you guys want to talk about that, that's fine. Don't care. But as for it, as for the movie, look, it didn't make me laugh as much. Like there was other people that were laughing in the theater and that's awesome. I'm glad that they found it funny and stuff like that. I felt like it was a bit cringe at times and it really took away from the comedy element that they're trying to do because this is ultimately like a comedy at the same time. But I just feel like it wasn't creative enough. It was kind of just like, hey, look, she's doing a funny dance. Oh, look at her now. Look, she's being dumb. She's doing all this dumb blonde stuff. Like, okay, I get it. Right. Okay, cool. But yeah, so overall, seriously, Red, probably not for me. I'm probably not the target audience. I didn't enjoy it that much. I do like the underlying message, though, about be yourself, not someone else. Live your life as you, not them. I really like that message. The underlying message is I absolutely massive thumbs up for me. But the rest of it, it's thumbs down, unfortunately. So let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of Seriously Red? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button for me and click subscribe as well. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.